Hello everyone, I am Akshay Preeti, trek leader with India Hikes. Today I want to talk about a trek which is very special in terms of what it offers to the trekkers. So Sandakfu, as you might already know, is a trek that runs between India and Nepal border. Because of which there is a lot of Buddhism and Hinduism culture on this trek. So there are a few things that I would like to point out to you, which are the things that as soon as you come on the trek, they will instantly grab your attention. First thing that you will notice that if you cross any of the streams during your trek, there would be flags beamed together in five different colors. So these five different colors are known as Panch Dhatu and they represent the five different elements that are required to make life possible. These five different elements are water, air, fire, land and clouds. Also sometimes you would see that huge flags are at high altitude places where wind blows strongly. The idea is that prayers is written on these flags and when the wind blows, these winds take these prayers to far off places and spread positive vibes. Another thing that you will notice would be some of the stupas along the way. So there are different types of stupas, two specific types of stupas to be in particular. One basically is known as your sotin. Sotin are the stupas which are created by the people for the people who have deceased and passed away. Then these are another stupas which are known as money. So manes are the stupas which are created for religious purposes. So they usually have some idols in them and they are usually prayer to. Also along the trek you might see some cement benches or places to sit on for the trekkers or for people who are passing by. So these are also created by the families of the people who have passed away with this idea that they would be remembered and even when they have gone they are still serving the humanity. Another interesting thing about this trek is that all of these houses have huge praying house in their room, in their house. So all these rooms basically have huge idols, huge ornaments, praying wheels and very particular incense smell coming from these rooms. This incense smell is basically of a plant known as Sonpati Dhup and people usually in a metallic ornament carry this Sonpati Dhup around their house and you can easily recognize it because of this very particular and very strong smell. The idea is that the fragrance and the uh, smoke of this plant carries away all the bad spirit from the house and daily you clean your house this way. Another most interesting thing about this trek that all the houses are very very brightly colored. Pink, blue, green, whatever the color you can imagine, these houses are painted in those colors. Along with them, in front of these houses on the porches, there are flowering plants. So basically, when you see and you walk through a valley or a village which has all these houses, you can't help a smile on your face. You instantly feel like you are in a very, very positive place. Last remaining thing, but not to be forgotten, is basically a very special spice known, found here known as a Dalle Khursani. Now that is a spice or a chili that comes in red shape, round and very small. But trust me, don't go by its size. You take a small bite of it and it lights up a fire in your mouth. So even if it's that spicy, I will tell you, please come here and do try this chili because you won't find this chili anywhere else. And it's in itself is an experience. So if you're coming to Sandakfu, be prepared to try this chili out. And if you want a trek that's loaded with cultural influences, if something that is totally marked away from Uttarakhand and Himachal, come to Sandakfu.